So in this tour vlog, we head to New York City and Beaumont, California. It's summertime, which means I'm starting to head back on the road again. The artist I tour with, Thompson Square, just released an album on June 1st. It's called Masterpiece. So we're doing some promo gigs and fly dates. And on this run, we're heading to New York City to play a morning show and then flying over to the West Coast to Beaumont, California, which is right outside of San Bernardino, to play the uh, annual Cherry Festival. The morning show in uh, New York City is for Fox News. <laughs> We all have our opinions on Fox News and politics, but that's not what this vlog is about. This vlog is about being a working musician, and as a working musician, you get a whole potpourri of different types of gigs. It's called Fox and Friends. It's their morning program. So since we uh, perform early in the morning, we're going to fly into New York the night before and then get up at probably 3 a.m. So let's get started. So we made it to New York City. It is about 10.30 p.m. Lobby call is at 4 a.m. So I'm going to try to get some rest. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep, but I'll see you bright and early in the morning. So the hotel that we were staying at was uh, close to Times Square and was fairly close to the studio. So in the morning, we actually just walked right to the studio. So we're walking uh, the three blocks to the studio. It's all your fault. We're walking three blocks to the studio. We by 4 a.m. Two long ones and one short. That's my favorite time to be in Manhattan. It's uh, it feels calm and you can just anticipate that in a couple hours the entire city is going to be hustling and bustling. This is the third or fourth morning show I've done in New York. It's actually the second time I've done Fox and Friends. Basically we show up around 4 a.m. to load in, set up. The stage is outside, it's right at the corner. Anyone walking by on the street can watch the show, but they also have a crowd that they let in. It rained a little bit in the morning, but not bad enough where we had to uh, cover our gear. So on these fly dates, I just bring uh, my guitars and a pedal board. All the amps are backlined. And on this date, I got uh, a matchless DC-30, which I'm actually falling in love with. It's a great amp. Um, I don't own one, but I think I might have to buy one pretty soon. Start playing in about an hour. It's starting to rain. Uh, Film me a teaser over here. Sound check. It's raining still.
the dressing room. Thank you. Hey, Sean. Thank you. I lost. I thought I would remember where the dressing room was, but I guess I don't. I'm gonna ask somebody. Now is the time when we wait. What are we doing, Sean? We're waiting. Oh, I like how the, uh, the mirror effect. Ooh. I've never seen the back of my head. So we're here on stage uh, playing a couple songs for the uh, web audience. We had two, we had two brand new bandmates today. It's not everything I've been thinking about. And uh, it, it, was, it was a great group. If you've never seen the video, we shot this video at Patsy Clive's original house. It was a cool thing. It was cool. Just finished up here. I'm tired and hungry, so we're gonna get some food. We're gonna go sleep. You guys hungry? <laughs> you guys hungry? Yeah! Yeah! Whoa, oh, just got done playing. We're gonna go get some breakfast at some diner. Up at Times Square. And then we had the day and evening off uh, in New York City because we didn't have to fly until the next day, uh, which is a rarity. Usually we have to fly right after the show and go to another gig or fly back home. So this was actually my first day off in New York City in a long time. So me and the other guitar player, Caleb, took advantage of that. I intentionally didn't film a lot of stuff because I wanted to just enjoy my day off. So. I shot some photos and some video and I'll just throw it up as a little montage. flight didn't leave until the afternoon so I didn't have to wake up super early I could relax and walk around the street and get breakfast beautiful day out in New York I'm gonna go find some breakfast Leaving New York today to go to um, Beaumont, California. We got about a eight or nine hour travel day. New York was great. It's a city that I like visiting. Got to see the city a little bit yesterday and see some friends from college. Feet are tired. Still tired from traveling and playing uh, yesterday early morning. Night off and then show tomorrow. 
and then home on Monday. It's time to go. Get your flight out of here. On our way to California. So a change of plans, looks like we're going to miss our connecting flight uh, because the first flight is delayed so much, so I guess they're going to try to rebook us. We were connecting in Chicago and I was kind of worried we wouldn't make the second flight. We literally landed and uh, our next flight was the gate next door. Walk off the plane, walk onto the second plane. It couldn't have worked out any more perfectly. It goes like this. Two. It's a little number. <laughs> So we landed in Ontario, California that evening and we were all kind of hungry and it was kind of a unanimous decision that we have to go get in and out because that's what you do when you don't live in California anymore and you don't get to have in and out every day. Side note, I lived in Southern California for about six or seven years. I miss in and out. Nice relaxing sleep, got up the next morning and headed to soundcheck at the uh, Cherry Festival in Beaumont, California. Alright, we had to do the sound check. Yo. Captain Sean. So I set up my pedal board and then I looked up and noticed that there was a bird's nest right above and my pedal board was a perfect target for a uh, bird poop landing. So I proceeded to move it out of the way. Getting ready for showtime. Gotta put them skinny jeans on.
We done. Victor, our old bass player, showed up. Hey, Victor, say hi. Hi. There's piles of horse shit by the van, and uh, Elton's the only one that stepped in it. I think we're all good. Let's see. Good. Good. <laughs> I think we actually went to In-N-Out again after the show. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. It was a very long weekend uh, playing in New York and then traveling to California, but I think we were all ready to get home, so let's go home. All right, six in the morning, getting ready to uh, go back to the airport, Ontario airport, and head home. Uh, it's been a long weekend, tired, drinking my hot tea courtesy of Hilton Garden Inn, San Bernardino. Uh, the weather is absolutely amazing right now, but it's probably going to be 95 today. I think it's like 60 something right now. kind of miss California, but I kind of don't. I do miss the In-N-Out burgers and I miss the nicer weather, but I can't wait to get home. See you guys soon.